Hi guys, Josh again from M from Wargaming, and today I'm going to be doing an unboxing of the Separatist starter fleet for Star Wars Armada. There it is, it's looking very cool. Um, I mean, I'm not going to lie to you guys, these models are awesome. I'm actually quite jealous. As, as a Republic collector, I am really jealous of these Separatist ones because they look so cool. But we'll get down to that. I've also got the Separatist um, Squadrons pack to un unbox and have a look at as well. So. We'll go through that in just a sec. Head to the website, emperorwargaming.co.uk to pick up both of those. They're still in stock with us at the moment uh, at a decent amount off the retail price, so go check them out. And remember to like and subscribe to the channel, guys. Cheers. So, right, without further ado, off we go. Right, guys, let's have a look at this Separatist fleet. Now, I've already said I think the models for this are amazing, and they are. I'm actually collecting Galactic Republic for this expansion, but... I am quite jealous of these droid models, so let's have a look. So again, just in like the last video, these have been re re What's the word I'm looking for, guys? These have been released by Fantasy Flight to kind of get just the one person into the game. It wasn't like the old ones, the old core sets you get where you get two sides, they just want to do the one this time. I think it's a smart move because quite often a lot of people want to get into it when their friends are already into a game so you know then it'd be like well i've got two sides i don't really use what's the point so again we've got all our dials and tokens there is a lot always is with our larder which is fun then we have our learn to play rule book which I will definitely be going through with a fine tooth comb before we do our next battle report. There we go. Big flight stand. Two small flight stands. Some dials and a maneuver tool. Dice. We've got some cards. Like the lucky dip here, and then we got our Vulture Droids. So, what else we got? And then, obviously, the ships themselves. So, let's have a quick look. So, what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to look at the cards first so I can remember the names of all these ships because I wasn't particularly reading the Separatist articles when they came out, if I'm honest. Right, so for the Squadrons card. We have got the Vulture Droid. So, AI Anti-Squadron. So, while attacking a squadron, if you're activated by a squadron's dial, you may add one die to your attack pool of a colour that is already in your attack pool. So you could add a black or a blue. Which is cool. And they get warm. Hal Chawl Prototypes. So again, they get the AI Anti-Squadron and Swarm. Before an enemy ship or squadron at distance one moves, you may perform an attack against that ship or squadron even if you are engaged. That's not bad. That's kind of like a counter to the clone one that we've just seen, where they get to move for free. And obviously we get our damage deck. I do like the damage deck being bigger, because I thought the, the small damage deck was a bit... got all over the place. So the damage deck being bigger is nice. I will say that. And we have our mission cards. Right, and let's have a look at some upgrade cards. We have Count Dooku, Kraken, Rune Harko, Watt Tamba, T-Series Tactical Droids, Battle Droid Reserves, Hyper Wave Signal Boost, Reserve Hangar Deck, Reactive Gunnery, Swithel Mount Batteries, Heavy Ion Emplacements, Munition Resupply, Parts Resupply, these are the ship specific ones, so you get the Tide of Progress. That's quite a cool name, isn't it? Uh, the Sa Nalor, Foreman's Labour, Beast of Burden. So you've got the Munificent Class Comms Frigate, or the Munif Munificent Class Star Frigate. I mean, they both look pretty cool. It's got Salvo, Brace, a Redirect, Six Hull. They're actually quite manoeuvrable. Slow, but they get a lot of clicks, so that's cool. 
Um, yeah, two command on both. Three squadron on the comms frigate, two squadron on the other. Four engineering on each. And they're both pretty cool. Like the artwork on the back, and that's where it tells us our points cost as well. So 70 for the comms frigate, 73 for the star frigate. And I can't... Well, oh, it gets an extra dice for his anti-squadron for three points. And we've got the hard cell class transports. They're pretty cool as well. Or the hard cell class battle refit. Just a bit longer range by the looks of things. They're quite hardy though. Five, five hull. And then obviously we've got the command cards and the defense token one. It's always handy. So let's have a look at these models then. Don't make it easy to get into. There we go. So there it is, the munificent frigate. Looks pretty cool, doesn't it? Just look at that. Love it. Absolutely love it. Alex, I know you're watching. I'm very jealous of your droid fleet. And then we've got the. They're almost like two very comedic rockets, aren't they? These things. They are cool. I do like them. Right, I'll be right back with the squadrons pack. Right, let's have a look at the separatist squadrons pack. If we can get in, that is. There we go. So, all our tokens and our cards. A little leaflet and of course the models. So let's have a look at the cards first. So we have our generic vulture droids. So we've seen the eight vulture droids, we're quite excited for them. DFS. I mean, will their sale ever end? Who knows? DFS 311, the Vulture Droid Squadrons. They get intel as well. Swarm, and while defending, if the attack is obstructed, you may force the attacker to reroll one dice of your choice. Pretty handy. The Hyena Class Droid Bomber Squadron. So it's got Battery 1 AI. While attacking a ship, if you are activated by a squadron command, you may add one die to your attack pool of any colour that is already in your attack pool. So for this example, it's going to be an extra red dice. So two red die, pretty handy. And obviously you've got bomber and heavy. I mean, they're quite fast actually as well for a bomber. Four, that is really good. And four hull. Bactoid prototypes, the hyena class droid bomber squadron. So they get AI battery one, bomber, heavy. And while attacking a ship, if another friendly squadron with bomber is at distance one of the defender, you may change one die to a face with a accuracy icon. Pretty handy. DBS 404, the hyena class droid bomber squadron again. So while attacking, if you are touching the defender, you may suffer one damage to add one die to your attack pool of a color that is already in your attack pool. So you could have an extra red again. So you could end up with three red dice there because you get the one for battery one. And then if you're activated by a squadron command, one for battery one, and then you would get the extra one if you just took a damage. So you get three red die. That'd be handy. The droid TIE Fighter. Tri Fighter, not TIE. Wrong era. Anti Squadron 1 is your AI. So we've seen what that is. You get Counter 2 and Swarm. Again, they are really quick. Five, uh, five movement, and but only three hull. But they, have, they are only 11 points, I suppose. Uh, Flak. Afrock prototypes. So as well as getting the anti-squadron one, counter two and swarm, after an enemy squadron ends its activation at distance one, that squadron suffers one damage. Oh my goodness. Don't come charging into these boys. They are 19 points though. Uh, DIS T81s. 
Snipe 3. So I'm going to have to look up Snipe because I'm not sure what it is. But I'm sure it's pretty nasty. And just your attacks cannot be obstructed either. So one red, one black, one blue. It's pretty cool. Bell Bulub 22 Starfighter Squadron. So you get Relay 1. When a friendly ship resolves a squadron command, if you are in range to be activated, one of the squadron is activated. It could be a distance one to three of you. Okay, so it's basically like chain ordering. That's cool. And you also need to get screen. So while defending it, each of a friendly ship the attacker is engaged with lacks screen up to three, you gain dodge one. Pretty good. And obviously two blue and two black on anti-squadron's good. And then General Grievous in his Bellab 2-2 Starfighter. So he gets Relay 2, so I'm assuming that means you can do two extra um, squadrons instead of just the one. While attacking a ship or squadron with no ready defense tokens, each of your crit icons adds one damage to the damage total. That's pretty good. So, let's have a quick look at the models. So, what's that? That looks like a Vulture Droid. He's a very small Hyena Droid. Little Droid Tri Fighter. Where's General Grievous' Bellub? There we go. And the Bellub. So, very cool indeed. So, just have a quick tidy up and I'll come back at you with some conclusions. Okay, so that's the Separatist fleet done now. Um, yeah, I, I quite like the Separatist models, uh, they look amazing, um, I'm a little bit jealous, if I'm honest, because I think they look a little bit better. Personal opinion, please don't shoot me. Um, their squadrons are cool as well, I like the fact they've reflected the AI as well, which is really cool. So, yeah, only thing I'd say, cards again, I want the, I want the big ship cards, but that's just me. Um, yeah. Guys, please like and subscribe to the YouTube channel and head to emperorwargaming.co.uk uh, to shop our Range of Armada. We have got both the uh, Separatist fleets and the Separatist squadron packs in stock, so go have a look. Cheers, guys. Bye.